welcome to Tales of Terror, the channel that delves into the darkest corners of literature to bring you spine-chilling summaries and discussions. If you have a taste for the macabre and a thirst for thrills, you've come to the right place. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a terrifying tale. Today, we have a special treat for all horror enthusiasts. We will be exploring the summary of one of the most astounding and iconic horror books of all time, Dracula by Bram Stoker. Prepare to be transported into a world of supernatural terror, as we delve into the secrets of the night and uncover the chilling tale that has haunted readers for over a century. Published in 1897, Dracula has become synonymous with the horror genre. Bram Stoker, an Irish writer and former theater manager, penned this masterpiece that forever changed the landscape of vampire fiction. Although it didn't achieve immediate success, Dracula gradually gained recognition and went on to become a literary sensation. In this classic novel, Stoker introduces us to Count Dracula, a, a centuries-old vampire hailing from Transylvania, who sets his sights on the bustling streets of London, thirsty for fresh blood and eager to spread fear among its inhabitants. Through a series of journal entries, letters, and diary excerpts, we are immersed in a chilling narrative that unveils the sinister plans of the enigmatic Count. With its twenty-seven chapters, Dracula takes us on a harrowing journey, peeling back the layers of darkness and unveiling the efforts of a brave group led by the venerable Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Together, they battle the ancient evil that Dracula represents, as the vampire's reign of terror threatens to engulf the lives of those who dare to stand against him. Stoker's genius lies in his ability to create a sense of dread and suspense throughout the novel. The atmospheric setting, the intricate web of characters, and the clash between good and evil make Dracula an unforgettable red. The novel introduced many vampire tropes and established the foundation for the modern vampire archetype we know today. Since its publication, Dracula has spawned countless adaptations in film, theater, and popular culture. Its legacy endures, captivating audiences with its timeless themes, memorable characters, and the ever-fascinating figure of Count Dracula himself. So, join us as we embark on this journey into the heart of darkness, uncovering the secrets of Dracula and exploring the allure of the vampire legend. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more bone-chilling summaries and discussions that will keep you up at night. Prepare to be captivated, enthralled, and, most importantly, terrified. Welcome to Tales of Terror. Jonathan Harker's Journal In this chapter of Dracula, the story begins with Jonathan Harker's journal entries as he travels to Transylvania to meet a client, Count Dracula. Harker is a young solicitor from England who embarks on a journey to the remote Carpathian Mountains to finalize a real estate transaction for his firm. As Harker makes his way through the eerie landscape, he becomes increasingly unnerved by the strange occurrences and the unusual behavior of the locals. Upon arriving at Castle Dracula, he is greeted by the enigmatic Count, who proves to be a captivating yet unsettling figure. Harker's journal entries detail his observations of the castle and its peculiarities, such as the vast number of rats scurrying through the premises and the fact that the Count appears to have no reflection in mirrors. Harker soon discovers that he is effectively a prisoner in the castle, cut off from the outside world. As the days go by, Harker becomes more and more convinced that Count Dracula is not a normal man but a creature of the night, a vampire. He witnesses the Count displaying supernatural abilities, such as scaling the walls of the castle like a lizard and demonstrating incredible strength. In his journal, Harker expresses growing fear and desperation fearing for his life and longing to escape the clutches of the vampire. He also uncovers disturbing secrets about the Count's nocturnal habits, including his insatiable thirst for blood. The chapter ends with Harker resolving to find a way to escape from Castle Dracula and the sinister presence that lurks within. His journal entries serve as a chilling introduction to the horrors that lie ahead and set the stage for the subsequent events in the novel. 
Parker's journal provides readers with a first-hand account of his encounters with Count Dracula, building suspense and foreshadowing the impending danger that will unfold throughout the narrative. Continuing from the previous chapter, Jonathan Harker's journal and Dracula delves deeper into the harrowing experiences of Jonathan Harker as he remains trapped in Castle Dracula. The continuation of his journal entries paints a picture of increasing dread and reveals more about the mysterious Count and the dark forces at play. Jonathan Harker's journal entries chronicle his growing awareness of the supernatural nature of Count Dracula. He details the Count's nocturnal activities, as he prowls the castle and exhibits an insatiable thirst for blood. Harker becomes increasingly weakened and frail, sensing his own life force being drained. The isolation and confinement within the castle intensify Harker's terror. He desperately tries to find a means of escape and uncovers more chilling truths about the Count. Harker stumbles upon a room filled with peculiar objects, including ancient books on dark rituals and vampire lore, reinforcing his suspicions that the Count is no ordinary man. As the days pass, Harker's journal entries reflect his desperation and his attempts to maintain his sanity. He describes witnessing supernatural occurrences, such as the Count transforming into a bat and the eerie presence of three seductive female vampires who attempt to prey upon him. Despite his weakening state, Harker remains determined to find a way out and gather evidence to expose the true nature of Count Dracula. He explores the castle further, discovering hidden chambers and secret passageways that deepen the sense of mystery and danger surrounding him. The chapter ends with Harker's resolve to escape strengthened, as he comes across a cache of valuable documents that shed light on the Count's history and his unholy origins. Harker's journal entries convey a sense of impending doom, highlighting his race against time to find a means of escape and warn others about the vampire's existence. Jonathan Harker's journal, continued, serves to heighten the suspense and terror of the story as Harker's discoveries bring him closer to the heart of the vampire's dark powers. It sets the stage for the ongoing battle against Count Dracula and leaves readers eager to uncover the fate of Harker and the ultimate confrontation with the formidable vampire. The continuation of Jonathan Harker's journal and Bram Stoker's Dracula delves deeper into the nightmarish ordeal of Jonathan Harker as he remains captive in Castle Dracula. The ongoing journal entries provide a chilling account of his attempts to escape, the revelation of the Count's true nature, and the growing sense of impending doom. Jonathan Harker's journal entries continue to chronicle his struggles within the walls of Castle Dracula. As he explores the castle, he encounters more evidence of the supernatural, including hidden rooms and cryptic symbols that suggest dark rituals and ancient evil. Harker's fear intensifies as he learns more about the true nature of Count Dracula. He discovers the Count's sleeping chamber, filled with earth from his homeland, which gives him strength and sustenance. Harker also witnesses the Count scaling the castle walls with unnatural agility and encounters the Count's insidious control over the creatures of the night. The horrors within the castle escalate as Harker confronts the three female vampires who tempt and taunt him with their seductive allure. Despite his weakened state, Harker manages to resist their advances, further fueling his determination to escape and put an end to the Count's reign of terror. The journal entries reflect Harker's dwindling hope and increasing desperation as he contemplates the possibility of his own transformation into a creature of darkness. He realizes the urgent need to destroy the vampire and protect others from his malevolent influence. The chapter concludes with Harker's discovery of a way to escape the castle, a tower window overlooking a precipitous drop. He contemplates the perilous descent and resolves to take the risk in a final bid for freedom, armed with the knowledge he has gathered about the Count's vulnerabilities. Jonathan Harker's journal, continued, builds upon the tension and dread established in previous chapters, showcasing Harker's resilience and determination in the face of unspeakable evil. It sets the stage for the forthcoming confrontations and the battle against Count Dracula, leaving readers on the edge of their seats, eager to uncover the outcome of Harker's daring escape and the ultimate showdown with the formidable vampire. 
Continuing from the previous chapter, Jonathan Harker's journal, continued, in Bram Stoker's Dracula further explores the terrifying experiences of Jonathan Harker within Castle Dracula. The ongoing journal entries delve into his desperate escape attempt, the revelations of the Count's sinister powers, and the mounting suspense leading to a climactic confrontation. Jonathan Harker's journal entries reveal his determination to escape the clutches of Count Dracula and the horrors of Castle Dracula. With newfound resolve, he prepares for his perilous descent from the tower window, fully aware that failure could mean his doom. As Harker carefully plans his escape, the journal entries convey his heightened senses and the constant feeling of being watched by the omnipresent Count. He becomes increasingly aware of the danger surrounding him, both within the castle and outside its walls, as he contemplates the treacherous journey ahead. Harker's escape takes him through treacherous terrain and darkened forests, haunted by the lingering presence of the Count. He navigates the treacherous path driven by the need to warn others about the vampire's existence and to stop his reign of terror. Throughout his escape, Harker's journal entries are filled with a mix of relief, terror, and lingering trauma from his time in the castle. He encounters locals who are deeply superstitious and fearful of the vampire, further solidifying his belief in the true nature of Count Dracula. The chapter concludes with Harker's arrival at a convent, where he seeks refuge and medical attention. Though physically weak and emotionally scarred, he continues to document his experiences, driven by a desire to bring an end to the malevolence he has witnessed. Jonathan Harker's journal, continued, adds to the mounting suspense and horror in the narrative as Harker's escape draws closer. It highlights his resilience and determination while further establishing the terrifying power and pervasive influence of Count Dracula. The chapter sets the stage for the subsequent events, leaving readers eager to uncover the fate of Harker in the impending battle against the vampire. The chapter letters, Lucy Westenra to Mina Murray in Bram Stoker's Dracula presents a series of correspondence between two close friends, Lucy Westenra and Mina Murray. These letters provide insights into Lucy's life, her burgeoning romance, and the gradual descent into darkness that befalls her. The letters begin with Lucy's joyful accounts of her daily activities, social engagements, and her affection for her suitor, Arthur Holmwood. Lucy expresses her happiness and anticipation for their forthcoming marriage, creating an atmosphere of joy and lightheartedness in her correspondence. As the letters progress, subtle hints of a change in Lucy's demeanor begin to emerge. She describes experiencing inexplicable episodes of fatigue and weakness, leading to concerns from Mina about her friend's health. Lucy's descriptions become increasingly haunting and ethereal, as she mentions sleepwalking episodes and vivid dreams. The letters take a darker turn as Lucy reveals the presence of a mysterious figure who visits her at night appearing to drain her vitality. Lucy's descriptions of these encounters become more unsettling and suggestive of a malevolent force at work. Mina, in her responses, expresses deep concern for Lucy's well-being and urges her to seek medical advice. She encourages Lucy to confide in her and seeks to understand the true nature of her friend's affliction. The chapter concludes with a sense of foreboding as Lucy's letters take a distressing turn. Her last letter is filled with cryptic allusions to a growing darkness and her urgent need for Mina's support and understanding. Letters, Lucy Westenra to Mina Murray provides readers with an intimate glimpse into the deterioration of Lucy's condition and the encroaching presence of a malevolent force in her life. The shift in tone and content foreshadows the horrors to come and leaves readers with a sense of unease as they await further revelations in the narrative. The chapter Mina Murray's Journal and Bram Stoker's Dracula offers readers a first-hand account of the events surrounding Mina Murray, a close friend of Lucy Westenra. Mina's journal entries provide a window into her life, her relationships, and her growing involvement in the mysterious occurrences unfolding in the story. Mina's journal entries begin with reflections on her daily activities, her affection for her fiancé, Jonathan Harker, and her deep concern for her dear friend Lucy. 
she writes of her eagerness to reunite with Jonathan and her anticipation of their upcoming marriage. As the entries progress, Mina's focus shifts to her correspondence with Lucy, expressing worry over the changes in her friend's behavior and health. Mina dedicates herself to understanding Lucy's affliction, seeking answers through medical literature and consultations with experts. Mina's journal becomes a repository of information as she diligently records details about Lucy's condition, her sleepwalking episodes, and the strange encounters Lucy describes. Mina's analytical nature and her determination to help her friend shine through her meticulous observations and research. In her journal, Mina reveals her growing involvement in the investigation surrounding Lucy's affliction. She joins forces with Professor Abraham Van Helsing and others to unravel the truth behind the supernatural occurrences plaguing Lucy. Mina's intellect and resourcefulness become valuable assets as she assists in gathering evidence and piecing together the puzzle. Mina's journal entries take on an increasingly urgent tone as the group realizes the supernatural nature of their adversary, a vampire. Mina's dedication to the cause becomes apparent as she willingly offers herself as a crucial link, utilizing her strong connection to Jonathan Harker and her keen intellect to aid in their pursuit. The chapter concludes with a sense of determination and resolves as Mina commits herself fully to the battle against Count Dracula and his dark forces. Her journal serves as a testament to her unwavering loyalty, her intelligence, and her invaluable contribution to the fight against evil. Mina Murray's journal provides readers with deep insights into Mina's character, her unwavering determination, and her pivotal role in the unfolding events. Her journal entries offer a glimpse into the investigations, the gathering of allies, and the ongoing pursuit of Count Dracula, leaving readers eager to witness the next developments in the fight against the vampire's reign of terror. Continuing from the previous entries, Mina Murray's journal, continued, in Bram Stoker's Dracula delves deeper into the thoughts, experiences, and discoveries of Mina as she actively participates in the pursuit of Count Dracula and the fight against his dark forces. Mina's journal entries reflect her growing involvement in the ongoing battle against the vampire. She meticulously documents the group's strategies, their research into vampire lore, and the measures they take to protect themselves and others from Dracula's influence. As the entries progress, Mina's role expands to include acting as a crucial conduit of information. She becomes a scribe, diligently transcribing the accounts of the group's encounters, the testimonies of witnesses, and the strategies devised to defeat the vampire. Mina's journal showcases her exceptional organizational skills and her ability to synthesize complex information. She becomes the repository of crucial knowledge providing the group with a comprehensive understanding of their adversary and the means to thwart his plans. Mina's entries also reveal her emotional turmoil as she grapples with the profound implications of her connection to Dracula. She questions her own vulnerability and the potential threat she poses to the group's mission, but her determination to overcome these challenges and fulfill her role remains steadfast. Throughout the journal, Mina's love and concern for Jonathan Harker are evident. She cherishes their bond and relies on their connection to gain insight into Dracula's activities. Mina's entries are imbued with a deep sense of loyalty, as she is willing to sacrifice her own well-being for the greater good. The chapter concludes with a sense of anticipation and preparation as Mina and the group gear up for the final showdown with Count Dracula. Her journal entries become more focused and purposeful, reflecting the urgency and gravity of the approaching climax. Mina Murray's journal, continued, serves as a testament to Mina's resilience, intellect, and unwavering commitment to the fight against the forces of darkness. Her entries offer invaluable insights, facilitate communication within the group, and contribute to the group's collective knowledge building anticipation for the ultimate confrontation with Count Dracula. The continuation of Mina's journal captures readers' imaginations, drawing them deeper into the intricate web of mystery, danger, and heroism that permeates the narrative. 
the chapter Lucy Westenra's diary in Bram Stoker's Dracula provides readers with a glimpse into the inner thoughts and experiences of Lucy Westenra, shedding light on her personal journey, her relationships, and the escalating darkness that ensnares her. Lucy's diary entries begin with innocent and light-hearted musings about her daily life. She writes of her admiration for her suitors, including Arthur Holmwood, Quincy Morris, and Dr. John Seward, expressing her affection and excitement over their attentions. As the entries progress, subtle hints of a change in Lucy's well-being start to emerge. She describes episodes of exhaustion, lethargy, and unusual dreams, which cause her concern. Lucy's tone shifts, conveying a growing sense of unease and confusion as she grapples with these inexplicable changes. Lucy's diary entries also delve into her encounters with a mysterious stranger who visits her at night. She becomes entranced by his presence, and her descriptions take on an ethereal quality, hinting at a deeper connection between them. The stranger's influence over her intensifies, drawing her deeper into his dark allure. As the diary entries unfold, Lucy's health deteriorates further and her descriptions take on a more desperate and haunting tone. She becomes aware of the draining effects the mysterious stranger has on her vitality, both physically and emotionally. Lucy's diary entries convey her struggle to maintain a semblance of normalcy, even as she succumbs to the insidious influence of the stranger. She grapples with feelings of guilt and confusion torn between her loyalty to her suitors and her growing infatuation with the darkness that surrounds her. The chapter concludes with a sense of foreboding as Lucy's diary entries become increasingly disjointed and fragmented. They offer glimpses into her mounting distress and her gradual descent into the clutches of a malevolent force. Lucy Westenra's diary provides readers with a deeper understanding of Lucy's inner turmoil and the gradual erosion of her innocence. The diary entries serve as a haunting testament to the encroaching darkness that surrounds her, leaving readers captivated and eager to unravel the mysteries surrounding Lucy's fate in the face of the growing supernatural threat. The combined chapter Lucy Westenra's Diary and Dr. Seward's Diary in Bram Stoker's Dracula presents a juxtaposition of two important diaries, offering readers multiple perspectives on the unfolding events and the characters' experiences. Lucy Westenra's diary entries provide insight into her personal struggles and the encroaching darkness that consumes her. She chronicles her relationships with her suitors, her declining health, and her encounters with a mysterious stranger. Lucy's diary reflects her initial innocence, the gradual deterioration of her well-being, and the growing allure of the supernatural forces at play. Dr. John Seward's diary entries, on the other hand, offer a professional perspective as he documents his observations and treatments at the asylum he manages. Through his entries, readers gain insights into the mental and emotional state of his patients, including Renfield, whose connection to Count Dracula becomes increasingly apparent. Dr. Seward's diary captures his frustration, curiosity, and growing belief in the supernatural as he encounters inexplicable phenomena. The intertwining of these two diaries provides a nuanced portrayal of the intertwining stories and the interconnectedness of the characters. The contrast between Lucy's personal experiences and Dr. Seward's clinical observations creates a rich tapestry of perspectives that deepen the narrative and heighten the suspense. The combined chapter serves to highlight the escalating threat posed by Count Dracula and the urgency with which the characters must respond. It also hints at the shared fate of Lucy and the other characters as they become entangled in the web of darkness woven by the vampire. Lucy Westenra's diary and Dr. Seward's diary offers readers a multidimensional view of the events, showcasing the emotional turmoil of Lucy and the professional dilemmas faced by Dr. Seward. The alternating diary entries enhance the tension and further immerse readers in the unfolding horrors, setting the stage for the dramatic confrontations and the ultimate battle against the malevolent force that threatens their lives and sanity. Continuing from the previous entries, Dr. Seward's diary, continued, 
in Bram Stoker's Dracula provides an ongoing account of Dr. John Seward's observations, reflections, and involvement in the battle against Count Dracula and the forces of darkness. Dr. Seward's diary entries delve into his growing fascination with the supernatural and his unwavering dedication to understanding and combating the mysterious occurrences that surround him. He documents his interactions with patients at the asylum, particularly the enigmatic Renfield, whose connection to Dracula becomes increasingly evident. As the entries progress, Dr. Seward's diary becomes a valuable record of the group's efforts to confront the vampire threat. He chronicles their research, strategies, and the evolving dynamics among the group members, including his close collaboration with Professor Van Helsing. Dr. Seward's diary entries reveal his emotional struggles and frustrations as he witnesses the devastating effects of Dracula's influence on those around him. He grapples with the limitations of his knowledge and medical expertise in the face of the supernatural, but his determination to protect others and unravel the mysteries remains resolute. The continued entries in Dr. Seward's diary capture the growing sense of urgency and impending doom. He recounts their encounters with the vampire, the discoveries made, and the sacrifices they must make in their quest to eradicate the malevolent presence. As the chapter progresses, Dr. Seward's diary becomes a testament to the group's unwavering resolve and their increasing understanding of Dracula's powers and vulnerabilities. It showcases their collaborative efforts, the sharing of information, and the collective pursuit of their goal. Dr. Seward's diary, continued, serves to deepen the reader's immersion in the narrative, offering a window into the inner thoughts and struggles of Dr. Seward as he navigates the treacherous path toward defeating the ancient evil that haunts them. The continued entries build suspense, heighten the stakes, and leave readers eager to witness the culmination of their efforts in the impending confrontation with Count Dracula. The ongoing diary entries provide a captivating and intimate view of the unfolding events, further enriching the tapestry of horror and heroism that defines the world of Dracula. The chapter Jonathan Harker's Journal, continued, in Bram Stoker's Dracula delves deeper into the harrowing experiences of Jonathan Harker as he continues his journal entries, chronicling his captivity and escape from the clutches of Count Dracula in the remote castle of Transylvania. Jonathan's journal entries pick up from where they left off, detailing his growing desperation and determination to find a way to escape the castle and return to his beloved Mina. He recounts the horrors he witnesses within the castle's walls, including encounters with the vampire brides and his continued interactions with the enigmatic Count. As the entries progress, Jonathan's journal becomes a testament to his resilience and resourcefulness. He carefully documents his observations, discovers hidden secrets, and devises plans to outweat the cunning and powerful vampire who holds him captive. Jonathan's journal also offers glimpses into his deteriorating physical and mental state. He grapples with his own fears and doubts, questioning his sanity as he faces the unimaginable horrors and the relentless pursuit by Count Dracula. The continued entries in Jonathan's journal capture his gradual realization of the supernatural nature of his captor. He uncovers the truth about Dracula's origins, his vampiric powers, and the ancient curse that binds him to darkness. Jonathan's journal becomes a repository of crucial information about the vampire, serving as a valuable resource for the group's battle against the forces of evil. The chapter reaches its climax as Jonathan finally manages to escape from the castle, leaving readers on the edge of their seats with anticipation. His journal entries become a testament to his resilience and the indomitable human spirit in the face of overwhelming odds. Jonathan Harker's journal, continued, offers readers a thrilling continuation of Jonathan's plight and his quest for survival. The journal entries immerse readers in the depths of his fear the complexity of his emotions, and his unwavering determination to overcome the horrors that confront him. The ongoing entries in Jonathan's journal propel the narrative forward, deepening the suspense and setting the stage for the ultimate confrontation between Jonathan and Count Dracula. 
readers are left eagerly awaiting the next chapter, eager to witness the resolution of this gripping tale of survival and the triumph of good over evil. Continuing from the previous entries, Dr. Seward's diary, continued, in Bram Stoker's Dracula delves further into the detailed accounts and reflections of Dr. John Seward, providing readers with a deeper understanding of his experiences, investigations, and the mounting supernatural threat. Dr. Seward's diary entries offer a window into his relentless pursuit of knowledge and his growing involvement in the battle against Count Dracula. He diligently documents his observations of patients at the asylum, including the enigmatic Renfield, whose connection to the vampire becomes increasingly apparent. As the entries progress, Dr. Seward's diary becomes a testament to his evolving beliefs and the gradual acceptance of the supernatural. He confronts the limitations of his medical training in the face of the inexplicable and seeks guidance from the esteemed Professor Van Helsing. Dr. Seward's diary entries also chronicle the interactions and collaborations among the group of individuals united in their fight against the forces of darkness. He describes their discussions, strategies, and increasingly dangerous encounters with the vampire and his minions. The continued entries in Dr. Seward's diary highlight his growing resolve and dedication to protecting others from the sinister influence of Count Dracula. He grapples with the consequences of his actions and the sacrifices required to ensure the safety of those he cares for. The diary serves as a repository of vital information, as Dr. Seward meticulously documents their research, discoveries, and the vulnerabilities they uncover regarding the vampire. His entries become a crucial resource for the group, fostering their understanding of the supernatural threat they face. As the chapter progresses, the sense of impending doom intensifies, and Dr. Seward's diary reflects the growing urgency of their mission. He grapples with the weight of responsibility, knowing that the lives of countless others depend on their success in stopping the vampire. Dr. Seward's diary, continued, offers readers a deeper insight into Dr. Seward's character, his struggles, and his unwavering determination in the face of overwhelming odds. The ongoing entries build suspense and anticipation, drawing readers further into the web of mystery and danger that surrounds the group. The continued documentation in Dr. Seward's diary adds layers of complexity to the narrative, enriching the story with its meticulous observations, emotional reflections, and relentless pursuit of the truth. It leaves readers eagerly awaiting the next chapter curious to witness the unfolding events and the ultimate confrontation with the ancient evil that plagues them. In the chapter Jonathan Harker's Journal, continued, of Bram Stoker's Dracula, readers delve deeper into the haunting experiences and desperate struggles of Jonathan Harker as he chronicles his ongoing ordeal and relentless pursuit of escape from the clutches of Count Dracula. Jonathan's journal entries pick up from where they left off documenting his continued imprisonment within the walls of the Transylvanian castle. He meticulously describes the horrors he witnesses and endures, including encounters with the vampire brides and his unsettling interactions with the enigmatic Count. As the entries progress, Jonathan's journal serves as a testament to his unwavering resolve and resourcefulness. He details his cunning attempts to gather information, uncover secrets, and find a means of escape from the oppressive grip of the vampire's lair. The continued entries in Jonathan's journal capture his deteriorating physical and mental state. He struggles with despair, isolation, and the ever-present threat of the supernatural. His words reflect a mix of fear, determination, and a desperate longing to be reunited with his beloved Mina. Jonathan's journal also becomes a repository of vital information about Count Dracula himself. He discovers clues about the vampire's origins, powers, and weaknesses, piecing together a chilling portrait of the ancient evil that haunts him. As the chapter unfolds, Jonathan's resilience is tested to its limits. He endures physical torture and psychological torment, driven by an unyielding determination to survive and warn others of the vampire's existence. Jonathan Harker's journal, continued, 
immerses readers in the depths of Jonathan's anguish, fear, and resilience. The journal entries amplify the sense of impending danger, leaving readers on the edge of their seats as they witness Jonathan's escalating struggles against the forces of darkness. The ongoing entries in Jonathan's journal contribute to the narrative's tension, deepening the sense of foreboding and building anticipation for the ultimate showdown between Jonathan and Count Dracula. Readers are left eager to discover the outcome of this gripping battle for survival and the impact it will have on the lives of the characters entwined in this chilling tale. Continuing from the previous entries, the chapter Dr. Seward's Diary, continued, in Bram Stoker's Dracula delves deeper into the detailed accounts and reflections of Dr. John Seward, offering readers a closer look at his ongoing investigations, struggles, and growing involvement in the battle against the forces of darkness. Dr. Seward's diary entries provide a window into his relentless pursuit of understanding the mysteries surrounding Count Dracula and the supernatural occurrences that surround him. He meticulously documents his observations of patients at the asylum, including the enigmatic Renfield, whose connection to the vampire becomes increasingly evident. As the entries progress, Dr. Seward's diary becomes a testament to his evolving beliefs and the gradual acceptance of the supernatural. He grapples with the limitations of his medical expertise and seeks the guidance of Professor Van Helsing, recognizing the need for unconventional approaches in combating ancient evil. Dr. Seward's diary entries also detail the collaborative efforts and the interactions among the group dedicated to thwarting the malevolent forces at play. He shares their discussions, strategies, and increasingly perilous encounters with the vampire and his minions. The continued entries in Dr. Seward's diary showcase his growing determination and the sacrifices he is willing to make to protect others from the encroaching darkness. He wrestles with personal demons, questions his own abilities, and confronts the weight of the responsibility placed upon him. The diary serves as a vital repository of information, as Dr. Seward meticulously documents their research, discoveries, and the vulnerabilities they uncover regarding the vampire. His entries become a valuable resource that helps the group piece together the puzzle of Count Dracula's powers and weaknesses. As the chapter progresses, the sense of urgency mounts in Dr. Seward's diary reflects the escalating threat and the impending confrontation with the vampire. He grapples with his own doubts and fears, but his resolve remains unwavering as he stands firm in his commitment to vanquishing the ancient evil. Dr. Seward's diary, continued, offers readers a deeper insight into Dr. Seward's character, his struggles, and his growing conviction in the face of unimaginable horrors. The ongoing entries heighten the suspense and immerse readers in the relentless pursuit of the truth, leaving them eagerly anticipating the resolution of this chilling tale. The continued documentation in Dr. Seward's diary adds layers of complexity to the narrative, enriching the story with its meticulous observations, emotional reflections, and unwavering determination to protect humanity from the clutches of the vampire. The chapter Jonathan Harker's Journal, continued, in Bram Stoker's Dracula delves deeper into the gripping and horrifying experiences of Jonathan Harker as he continues to chronicle his ordeal within the Transylvanian castle and his desperate attempts to escape the clutches of Count Dracula. Jonathan's journal entries pick up where they left off, providing a haunting account of his ongoing imprisonment and the nightmarish encounters he endures. He meticulously details the eerie rituals, the supernatural occurrences, and the overwhelming sense of dread that permeates the castle. As the entries progress, Jonathan's journal becomes a testament to his unwavering determination and resourcefulness in the face of unimaginable horrors. He documents his desperate search for means of escape, his gradual understanding of the true nature of his captor, and the risks he takes to gather vital information. Jonathan's journal also serves as a record of his deteriorating physical and mental state. He describes his weakening health, the psychological torment he experiences, and the struggle to hold on to his sanity in the face of the vampire's influence. 
the continued entries in Jonathan's journal reflect his growing realization of the true extent of the evil that surrounds him. He uncovers secrets, witnesses chilling acts, and pieces together the ancient origins and powers of Count Dracula. As the chapter unfolds, Jonathan's resilience is pushed to the limit. He faces not only the physical threats posed by the vampire and his minions but also the psychological toll of his imprisonment. His journal entries reveal a mix of fear, desperation, and a fierce determination to survive and protect his loved ones. Jonathan Harker's journal, continued, immerses readers in the depths of Jonathan's terror and fortitude. The journal entries heighten the suspense, leaving readers on the edge of their seats as they witness Jonathan's escalating struggles against the forces of darkness. The ongoing documentation in Jonathan's journal contributes to the narrative's sense of impending doom, building anticipation for the ultimate confrontation between Jonathan and Count Dracula. Readers are left eagerly awaiting the resolution of this captivating tale of survival and the triumph of the human spirit over unspeakable evil. In the chapter Dr. Seward's Diary, continued, of Bram Stoker's Dracula, readers are provided with further insights into the ongoing investigations, struggles, and experiences of Dr. John Seward as he documents his encounters with the supernatural and his involvement in the battle against Count Dracula. Dr. Seward's diary entries offer a continued glimpse into his relentless pursuit of understanding the mysteries surrounding the vampire and the unfolding events surrounding him. He meticulously records his observations, theories, and interactions with the other members of the group dedicated to combating the ancient evil. As the entries progress, Dr. Seward's diary serves as a testament to his evolving beliefs and the expansion of his knowledge about the supernatural realm. He grapples with the challenges of reconciling his scientific training with the inexplicable phenomena he witnesses, and he seeks guidance from the wise and experienced Professor Van Helsing. Dr. Seward's diary entries also chronicled the collaborative efforts of the group as they strive to unravel the secrets of the vampire's existence. He shares their discussions, strategies, and the perilous encounters they face in their pursuit of knowledge and the ultimate goal of stopping Count Dracula. The continued entries in Dr. Seward's diary shed light on his growing determination and commitment to protecting others from the encroaching darkness. He confronts personal doubts, makes sacrifices, and experiences moments of a profound revelation that solidifies his resolve to eradicate the ancient evil that threatens their lives. The diary acts as a repository of vital information, containing their findings, discoveries, and the vulnerabilities they uncover about Count Dracula. Dr. Seward's meticulous documentation becomes a valuable resource for the group, enabling them to develop strategies and understand the complex nature of their adversary. In addition to the diary entries, the chapter also includes Dr. Seward's phonograph diary an appendix that provides an auditory dimension to his documentation. This unique edition offers readers a glimpse into the authentic voices and emotions of the characters, enhancing the immersive experience of the narrative. Dr. Seward's diary, continued, invites readers deeper into the psyche of Dr. Seward as he grapples with the supernatural forces at play. The ongoing entries and the inclusion of the phonograph diary enrich the storytelling, heightening the suspense, and leaving readers eagerly anticipating the resolution of this captivating battle against the ancient evil of Count Dracula. The continued documentation in Dr. Seward's diary and the addition of the phonograph diary appendix contribute to the multi-layered narrative, immersing readers in the complexity of the characters' experiences, their emotional struggles and their unwavering determination to protect humanity from the clutches of the vampire. In the chapter Dr. Seward's Diary, continued, of Bram Stoker's Dracula, readers are taken further into the intricate web of events surrounding Dr. John Seward as he diligently documents his ongoing investigations, personal struggles, and his growing involvement in the fight against the forces of darkness. Dr. Seward's Diary entries pick up where they left off providing a vivid account of his relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding of the supernatural occurrences surrounding Count Dracula. 
he meticulously records his observations, experiences, and interactions with the other characters, revealing the complexity of their shared mission. As the entries progress, Dr. Seward's diary becomes a testament to his evolving beliefs and his expanding understanding of the supernatural realm. He grapples with the limitations of his scientific background and seeks guidance from the wise Professor Van Helsing, whose expertise becomes invaluable in their battle against the vampire. Dr. Seward's diary entries also illuminate the collaborative efforts of the group as they work together to decipher the mysteries and develop strategies to defeat Count Dracula. He shares their discussions, plans, and the dangerous encounters they face, heightening the suspense and urgency of their mission. The continued entries in Dr. Seward's diary highlight his growing resolve and the sacrifices he is willing to make to protect humanity from the encroaching darkness. He confronts personal doubts, confronts his own fears, and wrestles with the weight of responsibility placed upon his shoulders. The diary serves as a repository of crucial information, containing their research findings, discoveries, and the vulnerabilities they uncover about Count Dracula. Dr. Seward's meticulous documentation becomes a vital resource for the group, shaping their understanding of the vampire's powers and weaknesses. Throughout the chapter, Dr. Seward's diary portrays his emotional journey and internal struggles as he grapples with the horrors he witnesses and the toll it takes on his psyche. His reflections and self-examinations provide readers with a deeper understanding of his character and the complexity of the challenges he faces. Dr. Seward's diary, continued, immerses readers in the evolving narrative, heightening the suspense and anticipation for the ultimate confrontation with Count Dracula. The ongoing entries deepen the connection to the characters, drawing readers further into the web of mystery and danger that surrounds them. The continued documentation in Dr. Seward's diary adds depth and complexity to the storytelling, showcasing the emotional turmoil, determination, and resilience of the characters. Readers are left eager to discover the outcome of this intense battle between light and darkness and to witness the transformative journeys of the characters involved. In the chapter Mina Harker's Journal of Bram Stoker's Dracula, readers are introduced to the first-hand account of Mina Harker, a central character who plays a crucial role in the battle against the vampire, Count Dracula. Mina's journal offers a unique perspective, providing insight into her thoughts, emotions, and the unfolding events of the narrative. Mina's journal entries serve as a window into her inner world as she navigates the challenges and horrors that befall her and her loved ones. She meticulously documents her experiences, offering a detailed chronicle of the journey she embarks upon alongside her husband, Jonathan Harker, and their companions in their quest to vanquish the ancient evil. As the entries progress, Mina's journal reveals her strength, intelligence, and unwavering resolve in the face of adversity. She proves to be a resourceful ally, aiding the group with her keen observations, analytical mind, and unwavering support. Mina's journal entries also reflect her personal growth and transformation throughout the narrative. She confronts her fears, questions societal norms, and discovers her own resilience in the face of unimaginable danger. Her inner strength becomes a guiding light for the group, instilling hope and determination in their pursuit of victory. The chapter unfolds with Mina's journal entries as a vital source of information for the group. Her meticulous documentation not only captures the unfolding events but also becomes an invaluable resource for understanding the nature of their adversary and strategizing their next moves. Mina's journal provides a perspective that balances supernatural elements with her own human experiences. Through her entries, readers gain insight into the emotional toll the battle takes on her, the challenges she faces in maintaining her own identity amidst the chaos, and her unwavering commitment to protecting her loved ones. Mina Harker's journal invites readers to connect deeply with Mina as she becomes a central figure in the fight against Count Dracula. Her journal entries heighten the suspense and deepen the emotional investment in the outcome of the story, as readers bear witness to her personal growth and the crucial role she plays in the group's efforts to defeat the vampire. 
the inclusion of Mina's journal adds layers of complexity to the narrative, offering a multifaceted portrayal of the events through her eyes. Readers are captivated by her resilience, intelligence, and unwavering spirit as they eagerly follow her journey towards the ultimate showdown with Count Dracula. In conclusion, we have journeyed through the shadows and explored the captivating world of Dracula by Bram Stoker. We hope that our summary has provided you with a glimpse into the haunting tale of the infamous Count and the courageous individuals who dare to challenge him. We would love to hear your feedback on the summary and your experience interacting with our channel. Did our summary do justice to the essence of Dracula and ignite your imagination? We value your input and suggestions as we strive to create content that captivates and thrills our audience. As we prepare for our next terrifying adventure, we would like to hear your novel preferences for the upcoming episode. Is there a particular horror novel that you would like us to summarize next week? Share your suggestions in the comments below, and we'll consider your recommendations as we dive into another chilling masterpiece. Thank you for joining us on this dark and exhilarating journey into the world of Dracula. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. Remember to subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our spine-tingling explorations. Stay tuned for more sinister summaries, intriguing discussions, and the spine-chilling allure of tales of terror.